हेलो गाइस लेट्स डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज डिटरमिन रैशनल नंबर्स ए एंड बी सो हियर देयर आर टू एक्सप्रेशंस वे यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू फॉर ए एंड बी एंड हाउ यू गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू सो व्हाट यू विल डू लेट्स कंसीडर द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एक्सप्रेशन and in this what you'll do you'll rationalize the denominator so that you can get the value in the numerator only so let's write down the expression first after this what you'll do you'll rationalize the denominator and now you know very well how to rationalize the denominator terms will remain as it is only the sign from plus to minus is going to change Now let's multiply the numerators as well as the denominators. You know that this is making the form of a plus b and a minus b, which will give you a square minus b square, where the value for a is seven and value for b is four root three. Now solve it further. This will give you. You'll multiply this five with both of these values, and then you'll multiply this three root three with both of these values. So what you'll get? Let's multiply five into seven. Five into four will give you twenty. So this will be twenty root three. Here, this is plus. This is plus. So you'll be getting positive value. You'll multiply this seven with three because three is out of the root. So when you'll multiply this three with seven, you'll get twenty one. Twenty one root three. Now, when you multiply this positive value with this negative value, then you'll get negative value. So here the sign will be negative. Now let's multiply this three with four. You'll get twelve. Now you are multiplying root three with root three. This will be root three whole square. Square root and square will get cancelled out, and you'll get three in multiplication because you are multiplying root three two times. That's why after multiplication you'll get three. Now, here seven square. This will give you forty nine minus. You can take this square separately. Four square into root three square. You can also write this as four square into root three whole square. So four square is sixteen, and this is three because square root and square will cancel each other, and you'll get three. Sixteen into three is forty eight. Now solve this further. Seven fives are thirty-five minus here. There is twenty root three plus twenty-one root three. So you'll get plus root three. Twenty and twenty-one. When you'll subtract twenty-one, twenty from twenty-one, you'll get twenty-one one. Why? Because this is the positive. This the greater value is positive. That's why you are getting positive sign here. Now twelve threes are thirty-six. In the denominator, of course, you'll get one. Now, thirty-five minus thirty-six. This will be minus one plus root three. So, after simplification, you are getting minus one plus root three. Now, compare this side with the value of a plus b root three. So, here you can see that coefficient of b is one, and coefficient of uh, root three here is b. So, the coefficient when you compare the coefficients of root three, the value for b will be one. So value for b is going to be one. Now here the constant value is a, and value for a will be after comparing it will be minus one. So you got the value for a and b here. Now let's move on to second problem, which is four plus three root five divided by four minus three root five. This is the easiest problem. How? Because you know that here a plus b and a minus b in the numerator as well as in the denominator terms are same. A and b are same. Now you, when you rationalize the denominator, you know that this will become four plus three root five. So this will be four plus three root five. Again, four plus three root five. And here, the form will be a square minus b square, where value for a will be four square, and value for b will be three root five. We are considering which side, left hand side expression. Now solve this further. There, there is this form of a plus b whole square. So when you use apply the formula of a plus b whole square, you'll get a square plus b square plus.
plus 2ab. So let's apply the formula here. This will be a and this will be b. So a square is 4 square, b square is 4. So a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now let's solve this formula. 4 square which will be 16 minus you know that you can write this separately as 3 square into root of 5 whole square. 3 square is 9 and square of root 5 will give you 5. Now let's solve this further. You will get 16 here. You know that how, what did you get here? 9 into 5, that's what you are going to get here. 9 into 5 which will give you 45 plus 4 to the 8. 8 3 is a 24 root 5. Now divided by 16 minus 45. 16 minus 45 here. 45 minus 16. This will give you 3 29. So you will get 29 in the denominator. So now let us solve this further. 16 plus 45. 16 plus 45 will give you 61 plus 24 root 5. You can write this 29 separately with both the values 29 divided by 29. Okay. So now let's compare this expression which you are getting on your left hand side after simplification with the right hand side which is a plus b root 5. Now coefficient of root 5 here in this expression is b and here in this expression is 24 by 29. So value for b is going to be 24 by 29 and value for a is going to be Now the left value is of course 61 by 29 so this will be this is going to be the value for a which is 61 by 29. I hope there should be no doubt here. I will be taking more problems in the next video lecture. Thank you.